Yeah, hello and welcome everybody to my presentation today about the environmental research station Schneeferner House. Uh, the Schneeferner House is Germany's highest research station at 2650 meters height, just above the Zugspitz summit, Germany's highest mountain located in the southern part of Germany. Some words about the history. Schneeferner House was originally built as a hotel and there was a train coming directly into the house, so it was also the end station of the trailway. And here you see people in the dining room and people enjoying the sun, but then in the 90s there were less and less tourists coming because other resorts opened and um, the Schneeferner House closed as hotel. So today, as I said already, the Schneeferner House is a research station. It opened again in 1999. And, um, since 2007, a uh, structured uh, research began. Um, and since then, 150 different research projects have been contact conducted. At the moment, there are over 70 projects and more than 10 international projects. Here you see the key scientific activities, the regional climate and atmosphere, satellite-based observations and early detection, cosmic radiation and radioactivity, hydrology, environmental and high-altitude medicine, global atmosphere watch, biosphere and geosphere, and cloud dynamics. But all other kind of research is also welcome here. It's not only research going on here, but it's also an observation uh, station. For example, the German Weather Service um, is observing here permanently parameters of the atmosphere as well as the uh, Global Atmosphere Watch. It's a conference center. We have over 2,500 overnights per year and um, more than 25 meetings. Um, we have more than 4,000 visitors per year. You see here the overnight facilities. So it's quite a nice place to come with students to have workshops and to discuss things. And then it's also an educational center. One of the most famous education um, courses that they are running here at the Schneeferner House is the so-called GORTEC, the um, Global Atmosphere Watch Training and Education Center. It is twice a year for two weeks and um, people from over the world that are running the Global Atmosphere Watch stations are coming here and learn to do so. Yes, why is it so unique and so interesting for our researchers to work here at this remote place? Well, uh, I showed you this picture before and actually the tunnel is still existing and also the train is still existing. It comes up once a month and this is of course quite a good possibility for the researchers to bring up high material and instruments in directly into the house, uh, no matter what kind of weather situation is outside. Um, some words about the organization of the Schneeferner House. It's a GmbH. Um, we have partners that are responsible for the finances. So uh, the two communities, Kreinau and Garmisch-Partenkirchen, um, and the Markt Garmisch-Partenkirchen, then um, the Bavarian Institute, uh, Ministry of Environment. Ten consortium partners since 2007 that are permanently rented laboratories and space for the instrument, uh, instruments and you see them here below. And a consortium board made out of representative of these partners that are dealing with policy issues of the consortium. Then there's a service team of ten persons including me that are responsible for the infrastructure. So we are looking um, that all uh, things are running smooth here, that the people, the researchers can do their research um, without any uh, problems. Important for you, the station is open for every institution, for every person, for every researcher team to come up for studies, for workshops and um, to conduct um, their own um, research. So if you're interested, you just have to apply. And then, of course, the Schneeferner House is also 
um, active internationally. As I said already, we are one of the 31 um, global stations of the Global Atmosphere Watch and are measuring the greenhouse gases from the Kyoto Protocol and the measurements going then into, for example, the IPCC report. And then we are partner of the so-called Virtual Alpine Observatory um, that operates as a network of European high altitude research stations based in the Alps and similar mountain ra uh, ranges. And at the moment there are 10 partners European wide and um, the goal is to exchange um, knowledge to work together on similar problems and just to uh, enjoy forces in Alpine research. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this short presentations and thank you for your attention. If you have more questions, then don't hesitate to contact me. Here's my email address. And then, of course, as I said, the Schneeferner House is open for everybody. And um, hence, maybe see you soon.